This video shows you how you can download and install apps stroke programs on your Windows PC. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how you can download and install apps on your PC. Now, this guide is going to be using Windows 11, but really the same principles apply in Windows 10. Also, to some degree, they apply in Windows 8 and Windows 7 too. So first of all, the best place to go to try and download apps is the Microsoft Store. So all you need to do is click on the Start button and then on your keyboard, just type the word Store, S-T-O-R-E. Now when you first start typing, there'll be nowhere to type, but don't worry, just type anyway and it'll appear. So after a few seconds, under Best Match, you should see Microsoft Store App. Move your mouse over that, left click once. Then the store will load. It might take a few moments for the store to load. Just be patient. And when it loads, then you can just go up to the top here where it says search apps, games, movies, and more. Click in there and type the name of the app or program you want to download. Now, not everything is available in the Microsoft Store. So if it's not available here, I'm gonna show you another way you can download and install if your app isn't available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, download Acrobat, which is a PDF reader. So I wanna be able to read PDFs because the program that I've got doesn't really read PDFs that well. So let's just click in the top there and I'm gonna type in there Acrobat. And as I'm typing, it should come up in the list below some suggestions. So there you go, Adobe Re Acrobat Reader DC. That's the one I want. So I just move my mouse over it, left click once, and then after a few seconds, you should see this blue and white icon on the left there that says install. So move your mouse over that, left click once, now, it might at this stage ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account username and password. If it does, you can try clicking the X on the top right hand corner of the box to come out of it and see if it downloads anyway. But if it insists, then you do need to make sure you've got a Microsoft account. So generally, if you've got a Hotmail, a Live or an Outlook email account, then it would be those details it needs. If not, you can sign up for a Microsoft account free of charge. So anyway, it's downloading, but it might take a bit of time because in actual fact, this Adobe Acrobat Reader DC is quite a large download. So just be patient. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it. Okay, so as you'll see, it's nearly finished downloading and then once it's finished downloading, then hopefully it should automatically start installing. Might hang for a bit like mine is, but there you go, it's now saying installing. So there you go, really dead simple. Now, if you get this message come up saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Now, if it says it's the actual program you're trying to install, then make sure that the verified publisher is also from the actual company you're trying to install from. If that matches, then just say yes on there. So left click once on yes, and then it will continue to install. Now it might look as though it's not doing anything for a while, but don't worry, just leave it. And then once it's installed, you'll see that blue circle change. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's installed. So there we are, that took a couple of minutes, but as you can see there, it did say completed just briefly, and now it's saying installed. So let's just close down the Microsoft Store. Let's just go up to the cross in the top right hand corner, left click once on that, and there you go. You'll see there's the icon there for Adobe Acrobat, which I just installed. But what if the program or the app that you're searching for isn't available in the App Store? We're gonna show you the deep, dirty, manual way of doing this. So say, for instance, we were trying to download Google Chrome and Google Chrome isn't available, say, in the Microsoft Store. Now, in Windows 7 and Windows 8, you don't have the Microsoft Store anyway, so you'd have to do it this way. So let's just open up Microsoft Edge and then we find the website so you can and search for it okay so let's just search for it download Chrome and then enter and there we go there's Google Chrome just there and the web address is shown below so that's www.google.co.uk forward slash Chrome let's just go into that let's just click on that left click that once and there you go there's a great big blue and white download Chrome button just there so let's untick help make 
Google Chrome better by automatically sending usage statistics and crash reports to Google. That's up to you whether you do that. And there may well not be a tick box in whatever you're downloading, but just click on where it's got download. And then what you'll find is up in the top right hand corner, if you're using Edge like I am, then you'll see the, uh, the, the, the actual program downloading. And when you see open file there, it means it's downloaded. So we just, the next step is we need to actually install the program. So to do that, just click on open file and then it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, just make sure it's the app that you're trying to install or certainly from the comp company of the app you're trying to install. Click on yes, okay, and then follow any instructions on screen. I mean, generally, Google Chrome is quite an easy one to install because it doesn't really ask you any questions. So as you can see, some apps will say they're downloading because what they do is they just download in, in the beginning a little stub file for you to start and then they download the remainder of the program once you're installing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a different program once this is installed, just to give you an idea of what a standard program would ask you so i'm just going to wait for this to download so there's only a couple of seconds left as you can see here and it says download complete now and it's now saying waiting to install and now installing so hopefully shouldn't take too long let's let that just install like i say some of these apps or, or programs are pretty easy now to install it's just literally one or two clicks and there you go it's it's, it's installed just like chrome but say for instance i was trying to download and install Libre Office. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into Microsoft Edge and then I'm going to type in there Libra Office in the search and hopefully there we go LibraOffice.org and there's actually a, a handy little download just there just below the website so I'm going to click on that if there isn't one then click on the the actual page there and then find a download in there there you go download LibraOffice and there you go there's a, a nice little download button for us just there so i can click on that and uh, it says your download libreoffice should begin shortly please click the link if it doesn't start so if you find that it doesn't appear in the top right hand corner then just click on that link there and it should then start downloading so libreoffice is now downloading that's going to take a few moments to, uh, to download and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it in a few seconds but also I will show you how you can delete the download as well after you've installed it because that's just taking up space when you go through Microsoft Store it automatically deletes it for you so it's not too much of a of a faff doing it that way but this manual way we do well it's, it, you don't need to delete it but it's obviously best to delete it once you've installed the actual program you don't need that 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 installation file left on your computer okay so as you can see there's only a couple of seconds left on the download and there we go it's now downloaded but what it's doing is it's just doing a little bit of a check over and after a few seconds you should see open file so once you see open file left click once on it and then there you go, the Windows installer should appear and you'll get this welcome to the installation wizard. So generally, if you don't know what you're doing, just keep clicking next because it's gonna ask you all sorts of questions. And quite frankly, if you just go with the default, generally the program will install, but it's, it's worth having a look through uh, first of all. So I'm gonna click next, okay? And it's asking, what do we wanna do? Do we want a typical installation or a custom installation? Well, you can select custom if you want and choose your own sort of bits and bobs that you wanna install, but generally, I would say just go with typical. So click next. It's offering you um, to uh, to create a shortcut or cut on the desktop, and it's asking us do we want to load it during system startup? I like well I don't, so I'm going to leave that unticked. I'm just going to leave it as is, and then I'm just going to click install. This is generally how a program would install manually. And again, you'll also get this, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure that um, the, the app matches or certainly the company name of the app matches up there and the verified publisher matches. And if you're sure about that, left click once on yes. And there we go, it now carries on the installation. So uh, the installation can, the time can vary from app to app. So just be patient with it, just let it 
run through. Um, this green bar may go up towards the end of the, 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 the right hand side of the screen several times before the app is installed. But don't worry, that's quite normal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the installation. OK, so there you go. As you can see, it's completed. So we just click finish there. And some programs might ask you to restart the computer. If they do, then let it restart. Um, so I did, what I did say was once we've installed it, how do you find it? So all we do is we just click on the start button and just type the name of the program that we've just installed. And there you go. It comes up there with, like in my case, LibreOffice Writer, Calc, LibreOffice just there. And we can click into it and uh, and it'll open. And there we go, it's now opened. But I did say, how do you delete the installation file? Well, what you do is click on any folder, any yellow folder, and then find downloads and click on downloads. And then what you should find is the last few things that you downloaded should be at the top of the list there. And all you do is literally click once on the program that you want to delete. This won't delete the program, let me just tell you that. It'll only delete the installation file. And all you do is just press the Dell or Delete key on your keyboard, and there you go, that disappears. And earlier we downloaded Chrome, so I'm gonna do the same for Chrome. Left click once, and then push the Delete or Dell key on your keyboard, and there you go, it disappears. And like I say, if I come out of this now, so click on the cross in the top right hand corner, like I say, this doesn't delete the program, it's just the installation file. And if we need that installation file again, we can go back onto the internet and re-download it. So it's just needlessly taking up space on the computer. And these installation files, they're constantly being updated. So there's no point in keeping them because they'll be out of date in next to no time. But just to prove to you that these two programs still work, let's go into Chrome. There you go, Chrome is still loading. And let's just go into LibreOffice and uh, that is still loading as well. Even though, like I say, I've deleted the installation file from the downloads folder. Like I say, don't need to keep that. So there you go, that guide showed you how you can download and install apps and programs on your Windows-based PC. I hope you liked this video and if you did, why not hang around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.